Tree falls in the woods. Can other trees hear it? Maybe. Trace here for D News. Scientists are doing hearing tests on plants. Plant psychologist Monica Gagliano of the University of Western Australia in Crawley says that plants can sense sound even without ears. There is evidence that certain plants respond to the buzzing of bees by releasing pollen, but if this is too crazy for you, then you just might want to turn off the internet right now. Plants can feel, they can smell, they can remember, and they can talk to each other. Where's your moral high ground now, vegetarians? This stuff freaks me out because there was a sci-fi movie that I saw when I was a kid called Day of the Triffids, and a meteor shower happens and everybody goes blind, but the plants can hear you and they go around, they kill everybody and they attack us? It's freaky, rent it. All those assertions are true, but plants don't feel, they don't smell, they don't hear, they don't remember, in the same way as animals. When plants suck water out of the ground, they sometimes suck in tiny little air bubbles, and as they push the bubbles up through their xylem tubes, the bubbles pop. The fizzy bubble sound goes at about 300 kilohertz, way above human hearing, but the sound is detectable by insects and some animals, so trees can definitely talk to their surroundings, but that's not all. Plants may not have ears, but they are constantly living in a world full of sound and they're making their own fizzy, buzzy sound. More research shows that the roots of corn seedlings will pull toward a 220 hertz purr and that chili seedlings will grow faster if a fennel seedling is nearby, even if that fennel seedling is in a box that only transmits sound. Both of these show that the plants are listening to their environment. The chili plant is responding to the sound of the fennel plant. Talking to your plants can make a difference, even if you just make crazy sounds, it matters. The Mythbusters have shown that sound causes greater growth than silence, so plants are definitely listening to you, crazy people. Plants can also feel. Frank Taluski, a botanist at Michigan State University, says, trees and plants respond to the caresses of the wind. If you stake a new tree too tightly, it won't grow as quickly or be as strong. And plants can definitely smell other plants. If you put two pieces of fruit in a paper bag, one that's really ripe and one that is, say, underripe, the underripe fruit will zip through the cycle to catch up to that ripe fruit. Daniel Chamovitz, author of What a Plant Knows, says what's happening is the fruit releases a pheromone and then that pheromone is picked up by the other fruit. I'm guessing that this is a way that plants can be competitive because, you know, fruit is supposed to be a vessel to seed new plants. And if other seeds get the prime location, that's bad. So do you think your carrots and potatoes are angrily plotting revenge because you cut them up and put them into a stew? If so, you might be a little strange, but we like that. So why don't you tell us your opinions about plant senses in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching D News, everyone. I'm Trace, see ya.